to Homeschooling HQ. I hope you had great fun making your egg yesterday. Today's craft activity, we're gonna make an Easter basket. Right, so the next craft activity, you're gonna need your glue again, scissors, your pencil, you'll need a ruler this time, uh, and again, one piece of colour card or colour paper, or again, if you wanna use two different ones or three different ones, it's entirely up to you. You can play around with this at your own time. So all I'm gonna do this time, this card's just an A4 piece of card. Uh, I'm just gonna measure out two centimeters, um, roughly. Again, get the children to do it. Okay, I'm doing it for speed, but they can have a go at doing this. And then obviously a lot of chat around measurement, about centimeters, about using a ruler. You know where you start with your ruler. Okay, um, every two centimeters, you can count in twos. Lots and lots of little fun math activities there you can do. Just the point when you're measuring it out, make sure um, a lot of children put the rulers the wrong right at the end because there's a gap. There's a gap. So if you just get them practicing putting the the root like where the, the zero starts at the edge of your card or your paper, it's really helpful. That's exactly what we should be doing. Whereas a lot of children do it that way and straight away they're out. So a little bit of practice on that. Then we can count in twos: two, four, six, eight, ten count with them as I say counting every day is always a good thing okay counting in twos fantastic all right and getting them to measure it and with all these bits we're going to make an Easter basket I uh, I love making Easter baskets but I often find that the templates that you find are really tough to cut round to stick this one I found is really simple to do and it's really effective so let's get on with it now, I've roughly measured out the other side as well just so that we can have a practice at drawing or joining our lines up, okay? And again, really good skill for the children to get used to and to practice getting that line nice and straight, okay? And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but this is where the practice comes in. Right, now, once I've got all my lines drawn, like so, I'm gonna very quickly cut these out, okay? I'm gonna do it with green and yellow, and I'm just gonna do two at the same time. So I've got lots of strips of card. I don't need it all, but you might wanna make two or three baskets. I've done it in two different colors, just so that you can see what I'm doing a bit clearer. All right, so all I'm gonna do is approximately, do you remember that word from my first video? Approximately, guess where the middle of my uh, strip is. Once that's in there, right, I've got one across there, done. Next one, I'm gonna get a different color. I'm gonna put it across this way, like so. Again, glue in the middle. I'm gonna keep going with this, and I'm gonna fill out these gaps as well. Right, so I've glued, I think it's eight strips of paper, all right, all in the center, just like that. I'm gonna take Two more bits now. I'll take a yellow and a green. I'm gonna glue those together. And then I'm gonna form a circle with them. Right, now I'll glue those together. If you want a little bit of extra security, put a bit of tape around it. Okay, if you've got a bit of solid tape. Now I'm gonna take any, any of the strips. First strip, bit of glue on it. I'm gonna stick that, I'm just gonna stick that in there, like so. I'm going to take this same strip, so follow it down, and again, a bit of glue, uh, yeah, on the outside, isn't it? I'm going to stick that like that. I'm going to continue doing that now with each one of those strips. So I'm probably going to start again in the middle. You can probably see where I'm going with this now. Obviously, with the glue, you might just need to just move those over a little bit as you go along. That's fine, that's not a problem, that's okay. I'm just gonna finish that last one off. Now I'm gonna take another two bits. Very simply, stick those together. Stick the other end. On there, that one, on there. One Easter basket. How cool is that? I love that, it's so easy to do. Okay, 
no templates, just a couple of strips of paper. Love it, and we're ready now for the Easter Bunny to fill it with lots of chocolate. Well, I hope you have great fun making your Easter basket, and I hope you get lots and lots of yummy eggs in there. Don't forget to take a picture of it, leave a picture of it on the on our social media, and I'll see you next time on Homeschooly HQ. Bye! <laughs>